Hello YouTube. I thought I'd show you my uh, bleeding brakes or changing my fluid. Uh, fluid's hyperscopic, it does absorb moisture and it should be changed around every two years. And uh, with being hyperscopic, it lowers its boiling point so uh, potentially you could have uh, less effective brakes and any moisture content could rust the inside of your components, including the lines and hard on the rubbers. So what I've got here is just a bleed bottle, um, just fitted up onto the bleed nipple. They're different sizes, mostly 10 or 8 mil, 7 mil. I just crack the bleed nipple open and let it roll. In this case I've got quite a bit of air in the line and I'm just waiting for it to clear out. The fluid is generally clean. I've put quite a bit through so far. But... So it's just a little bottle I bought. But you can make your own up. If you've got a line that's a bit bigger, just using an old brake fluid bottle. Drill a hole in the top, bit of silicon. And on the end, I put a clamp just to um, make sure it's tight on the nipple. And uh, works much the same. But uh, here you can see the, the air rolling through. Uh, make sure when you're doing this you don't let your uh, master cylinder run dry or your master cylinder reservoir run dry otherwise you'll have to start all again. But uh, alright, not much to it except a bit of patience sometimes when you've got a lot of air. Okay, uh, catch you next time. See ya.